says, I'm always concerned about the border on the leather parts. Are those models with extrude or with the curve? Thanks for sharing. I kind of do a little bit of both. On these ones in particular, I did it with the uh, curve brush. So let me demonstrate that a little bit because that's that might be useful. So if I take, for example, I'm going to Alt-Tap this one, and let's do, let me just duplicate this off. So I'll keep this one around, but I'm going to work on this one, and we'll go ahead and get rid of that because these are all separate. I just, m I move them, to, I put them together. So I have, you see how if I hit Shift-D, these are all low res. And then if I go over here, I can move these together. Or if I hit Control-D and start sculpting, I can kind of sculpt them together so it looks like the piping is going along with the cloth there. But if we don't have that, so I'll do Control-Shift-A. So when I'm doing this, I'm hitting Control-Shift and uh, tapping uh, that one top poly group here, and then if I do Control Shift A, that's a visibility grow all. That's in your visi visibility menu down here. And then what I can do is just do a delete hidden. So geometry modified topology delete hidden. And then I'm just left with this mesh here. So this is the mesh that we made. It's just super low res. You could use zero mesher for this. I think I used Z sphere root topology. So uh, once you have this, you can go ahead and either frame this mesh. You can go like a brush, curve, uh, you can do curve strap. Let's do curve tube and turn off X symmetry because it'll give you it'll double up. And then what you can do uh, a couple different things you can do. One way, if you just want to look at it, you can go hold down Control Shift, isolate this top one, and then you can go to. I'm so burpy this morning. <laughs> just go to stroke, go to curve, and then under here you can go frame mesh. In this case, it's going to frame a border because that's all that we have available to it. It's not going to. There's well, I guess there is creased edges on the border as well, and there's also a poly group, but frame borders what you're looking for and then now that this is a curve you can just go ahead and replace this with a tube or like we've talked about before you can go into your brush curve menus or your brush insert menus and grab anything and just replace it with you know whatever curve that you want in an automatic update um, if you need to you can go ahead and just reframe that mesh so let's go ahead and just hit that delete curve well let's go ahead and undo back to before the curve went on there there we go and now you can reframe this uh, you can also like drag it along there if you want to but instead of doing that, you can also do, if we have everything showing and we have that curve deleted, if you're also just dragging out a curve, it's like, okay, I'm dragging out a curve and you could try and drag it along here. But you can also just start dragging and then hold down shift and that'll usually, let me see, let me unmask here. Curve, drag, shift. It'll sometimes snap to the, um, underlying group here. Let me see if I can get something a little less thin. Might be interfering. Let's grab a sphere here. Edit mode. Make polymesh 3D. Control shift. Slice curve. And then oh wow. It turned off our curve mode for this brush. I didn't touch it. Did I? Make polymesh 3D. That's weird. Okay. We'll turn curve mode back on. There we go. So now that we have curve mode on here, if I hold down shift. no. Nope. Maybe it'll just do it on an open border here. There we go. Weird, but it doesn't do the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it kind of busted this brush here. Let's do um, brush, insert, army curve, and we'll grab a string of bullets here. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there, but usually you can just hold on shift and it'll also go through there and snap around. Now, another thing is if you don't have, you just have one polygroup here, you should be able to also go around the object. There we go. And then you can hold down shift. If you go off the object, it'll go around. If you hold down shift on a poly group, it'll go ahead and frame that poly group. Or you can isolate that, just frame it, and then uh, tap to select. Anyway, you can certainly do that to put your piping in, and that's fine. What I ended up doing is just something a little bit simpler. So I went over here to Q mesh, uh, poly group all. And I think probably what I did was duplicate this off temporarily. I'm going to hold down control shift. We'll get rid of that top group. So I'm going to hold down control shift, isolate that top group. I'm going to go back to select rect, control shift, drag to invert, get rid of this one. Go ahead and delete hidden. And now when I go through here, you're going to see I just have that thin strip here. So now I can go through here. I can do a Q mesh or an extrude polygroup all. I'm going to just pull this out. So if I can go back here. You're going to see, let's go ahead and just hide everything 
put those two here. So now I've got this pulled out. If you want to kind of go in a little bit, you can go through here and just hold down shift. So it just pulls along that surface normal. And then you can pull this out. If you want to have thickness with a dividing line, you can just pull out. Or again, if you just want to move along the surface normal, just hold down shift. Now this is doing polygroup all. So we've got polygroup same on the top and the bottom. If you just want to do the top, go to polygroup island. And it'll just pull this one out. But in this case, usually what I do is just do polygroup all. Make sure it's bending all the way. And then I've got this. And then I can go over here. I got crease polygroup selected. I can hit D. And that's going to give me my dynamic preview. And then on this one, I can also hit D. And that's pretty much what I have. If you want to kind of sharpen these edges up a little bit, you can also go in here to your, what are we doing? Crease tolerance here. Drop that down. And that'll kind of start creasing some of these corners in here. Or you might have to go in here manually and just go through here and be like, I want this one creased. Uh, hover with, uh, you know, this is obviously Z model brush, BZM. Crease, edge of the complete, tap, D, and then there you go. And then if, we, if you want this mirrored, which I totally forgot to turn X back on, we can just do a quick mirror, mirror and weld. Same thing with this one. And then if you want these to be in the same one, you can shoot them to the top. I'm just holding down alt tapping, just like subtools, hold down shift, shoot it to the top. Looks like that mirror kind of busted that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, merge these down together. Um, but for this one, let's undo that. Let's do a quick, sometimes if I get a weird seam down the middle, I'll just do another mirror, mirror and weld. Uh, or you can go through here and just collapse those middle ones. So that fix that. And then again, we can now just merge those down. Why is that showing up? Solo. 